This is not your typical Haiti story. This is an invitation. An invitation to participate in something transformational. To support an inspired group of Haitian doctors, nurses, and professionals who have responded to overwhelming need with extraordinary courage and who now need your help to continue. Even before the earthquake of January 2010, the healthcare system in Haiti was weak and grossly inadequate to meet the need in the country. The disaster of that day not only took the lives of over 200,000 people, but it decimated the minimal medical services that did exist. Après un tremblement de terre, dans moins que un temps, presque tout le monde qui est dans Saint-Luc réuni. Tout employé de Saint-Luc réuni avec ambulance, sac de machines privées, nous commençons, nous commençons dans la rue, commençons à ramasser les gens, de mettre tout le monde dans la cour de l'hôpital, tous les amis viennent, viennent participer. The way that the St. Luke Hospital came about is, is an exact replica of how we do things. There was an enormous need, which has smashed people and traumatized people from the earthquake, who are adults and are in the lawns and in the hallways of, of a children's hospital. In other words, the need is obvious. From the rubble of that disaster grew a field hospital called St. Luke's. With the majority of the facilities in Port-au-Prince damaged or destroyed, the need increased over the following months. The St. Luke team had over 25 years of experience in Haiti when the earthquake struck, through their work with St. Damien's Pediatric Hospital and through running programs and clinics throughout the city. St. Damien's is essential for the children of Haiti, and when the earthquake struck, it was overwhelmed with critical patients of all ages. It quickly became clear that we needed a second facility to meet this enormous need. <laughs> C'est nous-mêmes Saint-Luc. Nous avons commencé à contenir à comme ça. Après, nous avons fait un espace choléra. Et puis, nous avons fait une autre urgence. Nous avons une nécessité encore pour nous faire un ici pour nous critiquer. C'est ça fait qu'on y a encore. Nous avons fait tout ça. Nous avons pacifié. Nous voulons faire un bel hôpital. As another brutal rainy season approached, we moved out of the first phase field hospital and built a simple phase two facility which would allow vital patient care to continue. The following year, the St. Luke's team built the ICU and surgery center, the only permanent wing of St. Luke's Hospital. Today, the hospital consists of two sections. The ICU and surgery center is housed in a permanent, state-of-the-art building which will function at a high level for many years to come. The rest of the medical services are still housed in a simple structure, which was built quickly to meet great need. Over the last four years, St. Luke's Hospital has emerged from its humble beginnings to serve 150,000 patients and develop high-level specialty care, together with partners from the Mayo Clinic, University of Maryland, and the American Academy of Neurology. This care is essential to the many poor of the country. Now we need your help to take the next step and build the permanent St. Luke's Hospital. When I first got here, I started working, set, helping set up the cholera camps and watched the organization migrate from what was in a small St. Luke hospital in shipping containers into a semi-permanent structure. We have used world-class architects, engineers to help design it along with the Haitian staff and visiting medical professionals. So we've been able to draw in the experiences in Haiti, but also the experience abroad. And we'll be built to a budget that is equivalent to approximately what hospitals in the United States spend on their lobbies. We're able to do this by designing a hospital that is structurally very sound, but very efficient. So being able to project manage as a volunteer at the new St. Luke Hospital is truly an honor, truly a privilege. We will get it done. It will come in on budget, on schedule. I have no doubt whatsoever in my mind. We've been able to accomplish great things in Haiti. We will do it again. When you get a patient in front of you, you are able to, to take a decision and to save his life without thinking about money. We have a courageous and devoted staff that is second to none serious long-term international partners, and a history that proves we can run the hospital and provide care that saves lives. What we don't have 
is the long-term physical structure. I can say the ICU and the surgery program save a lot of life in Haiti. We really, really need to build this hospital. Thousands of Haitian mothers, daughters, fathers, and sons are waiting for care. Our staff is ready to receive them. In four short years, St. Luke's Hospital has shown what is possible in Haiti. Now we need your help to take that next step.